we're having pretty nice weather for February. As you can see. And some birds and a dirty great big dump on my window. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Well, greetings once again. This is Cool Dude Clem here. Not School Dude Clem. Cool Dude Clem. And what you're looking at here is the backlight for my old TV. I haven't been having much luck with this lately. It's like there's a curse on me or something. And I don't even believe in bad luck curses. But first that 42 inch TV that I repaired went wrong again and it's not really worth repairing again. Then there was that big monitor I found that turned out to have a completely broken screen. And with this thing I think the backlight's gone. And I've been trying to get that backlight to work, I've tried everything I can think of to make the inverter fire up but I think it's dead. So I thought I'd try to make my own inverter. So this is the little inverter I've got here. Sorry, I don't know where the schematic is, but this is your typical triple five timer, MOSFET and flyback circuit. Let's just give that a little power up for my homemade inverter. It was very unpredictable. Sometimes they'll all come on, sometimes only a few of them come on, but... Yeah, you can sort of see my point there. In fact, it looks a lot brighter on the camera than it does in real life. Also, this flyback is not giving me as much power as I hoped it would. Well, that didn't work too well. And if that wasn't enough, when my LCD driver board arrived from Banggood, it arrived DOA. Or in other words, destroyed upon arrival. So, things haven't really been going all that well. Like I said, it's like there's a bad curse on me or something. Fortunately, Banggood have agreed to send another one, so... In the meantime, until that arrives, I thought I would do this. So, in this video, I'm going to do a bit of a big clive. I'm going to convert this thing to LED. Not because I think LEDs are better, but... It's just going to be more convenient, and I'm not going to have to worry about any high voltages arcing. But, eh, uh, yeah. So, I've got a whole roll of LED tape here. It wasn't quite as much as I thought there would be, but... I'm going to put all these little strips of LEDs in between all the CCFLs. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, go well, here we are. There wasn't quite as many as I thought, so I may have to leave a couple of rows blank, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. I don't mind if it's a little bit dim here and here. But... Oh, I connect all these up now. Alright, it's all wired up. Let's see if this thing lights up. I hope it's going to be nice and bright, so I'm just plugging it in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We seem to have some LEDs over here that aren't lighting up, but I've just... But, yeah, that's definitely going to be uh, enough light for our backlight. Yeah, that's quite a lot of light. And we've got all my Tails pictures. That looks very familiar. Well, I'm a bit of an idiot here. I didn't notice that I put this one in upside down. So it's getting 12 volts where it should get ground, and ground where it should have 12 volts. I just have to switch the wires around, and that will fix that up. Okay, so I decided to move this strip down and this strip up, so they're all in the middle now. Because I tried it with the diffusers in place, and yeah, I could see where there wasn't any lights, so... This is going to be a lot better. Also, I've attached these wires here, which were originally the grounds for the fluorescent lights. These two wires now join up with these two wires, so I can power the LEDs from outside. And I'm not taking up any more space with wires than originally was there. And my train of thought isn't working again. Right, okay, so this is what we got so far. Now, I know it looks a little bad. In fact, it looks a lot worse on camera than it does in real life. You can see where the lights are, but once the diffusers are in place properly, that should all just blur into one solid block of light. Also, I want to put... Our Tesco arrive order has just arrived, but also I want to put a couple of extra strips of light in there. So I'm going to order another reel of those lights. 
So that should be coming in a few days. And over here is the LCD panel, which has fallen out of this bezel, waiting for its driver board. But fortunately it still looks good, I don't see any cracks.